This video tutorial will guide you through the VSP interface in MyVision Express. The VSP interface automates the VSP insurance process while reducing the need for the double entry of orders in your software and the iFinity website. The integrated authorization process populates allowances and copays. When an authorization is applied to an order, the pricing is automated. You will see a clear breakdown of what the patient pays, the insurance pays, as well as any chargebacks and the dispensing fees. Lab orders and insurance claims will be submitted simultaneously. You will be able to do things like maintain your spectacle lens and options inventory, submit private lab orders, as well as government and commercial claims. Let's start by obtaining an authorization. We'll click Patients, select our patient, there are several fields required in order for you to obtain a successful authorization. These include the patient's first and last name, date of birth, address, social security number, and the provider. Since we have all of that information filled in, we can go over to the insurance tab to obtain an authorization. If any insurance other than VSP is selected, all of the VSP specific buttons are hidden. They only become available when we select VSP as the insurance. Let's get a new authorization. We will view and authorize. Select our date of service. We'll use the signature plan. You can authorize all available services or individual services. Click Authorize. Selecting these checkboxes will have these reports print in your browser. We will click Cancel. OK. And Close. Notice the allowances and copays auto populate here. We'll click Save. And Exit. Let's apply this authorization to an order. We'll go to Quick Order. Select our patient. Again, Mr. Darwin. Select our frame and our lens. And our coating. Now that our retail order is complete, we can begin applying the insurance. We will select VSP. Once selected, you will notice that any field required for a successful transmission will highlight in green and must be filled in. Let's take a moment to do this. Once finished, we can continue by applying the insurance plan and finally the authorization. Click OK. Here we can see the patient copays, chargebacks, and dispensing fees. The patient balance is $399. We will take that now. We'll save and go back to the order. We are now ready to submit the claim. We'll do so by clicking on the Claim button. Here it warns you that you have an exam component in your authorization, but you are not billing an exam. Would you like to continue with the claim and remove the exam component? We will say yes. The claim opens in the Patient tab with all of the fields filled in. The Referring Provider tab allows you to enter that information if applicable. You will also see the diagnosis and the authorization number here. The Charges tab will show a breakdown of the procedure codes being billed as well as what the patient paid. We'll select the claim status as paid in full. We can now click on the Provider tab and click the electronic button to submit both the order to the lab and the claim to VSP. Upon a successful transmission, your default browser will open up with the reports that you can print. If there is a problem with the submission, you will get a pop-up with an error message. 
and here is your successful transmission. This concludes this video tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please remember to visit us at Support Central where you can view additional videos.